Schizotypal personality disorder and schizophrenia may appear similar, but there are differences between the two diagnoses. People with schizotypal personality disorder typically don't experience hallucinations and delusions. And if they do, they are not as intense or frequent as those experienced by people with schizophrenia. People with schizotypal personality disorder are open to the idea that their ideas and perceptions are distorted, whereas people with schizophrenia typically are not. However, a person who exhibits symptoms of SPD earlier in life may go on to develop schizophrenia. What is the treatment for schizotypal personality disorder? Treatment for schizotypal personality disorder usually involves a combination of psychotherapy and medication. There is very little research about the use of psychotherapy with SPD patients. Psychotherapy can include psychoeducation about social skills as well as cognitive behavioral techniques that help patients identify and challenge negative or distorted patterns of thinking. Family therapy may also help educate family members about the disorder, improve communication, and address patterns which increase anxiety for the individual. No medications have currently been approved by the Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of schizotypal personality disorder. However, doctors may prescribe antipsychotic medications, antidepressants, mood stabilizers, or anti-anxiety medications to help with symptoms. Stimulants often used to treat attention problems can also sometimes be found useful in patients with SPD. Treatment may also include addressing some of the complications of the disorder, which can include increased anxiety, substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts and behaviors. It may also address specific complications at work, school, or with relationships. Overall, symptoms tend to improve when people with schizotypal personality disorder begin to build stronger relationships and a sense of self-efficacy at school, work, or in other interests. Can a person with schizotypal personality disorder find employment? The eccentric behaviors and beliefs that accompany schizotypal personality disorder can make it difficult for a person to find or maintain employment. They might show up to work dressed inappropriately or experience paranoid fears when dealing with customers or other co-workers. A diagnosis of a personality disorder, however, should qualify an individual in the U.S. to receive vocational rehabilitation services from their state. These services can help a person learn social skills, find appropriate accommodations at work, and also pair them with a job coach who can work with them on site. Employment can provide positive connections and meaningful work that can aid treatment for people with schizotypal personality disorder. Getting help for schizotypal personality disorder. If you think that you or a loved one might have schizotypal personality disorder, it's important to receive a proper evaluation. A psychiatric evaluation can help a doctor or mental health professional rule out other diagnoses and determine whether there are co-occurring conditions that also need to be treated. Because so many people with schizotypal personality disorder also experience depression, they are at increased risk of suicide. If you or a loved one are experiencing suicidal thoughts or behaviors, it's important to seek help immediately. Although personality disorders are chronic conditions, medication and therapy can do a lot to alleviate symptoms and help a person build stronger relationships and feel effective in life. Don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor today to get more information about living with schizotypal personality disorder.